this is Jeff, your Kiva fellow in the field. Today I am hiking a volcano here in Guatemala. And guess what? We're already halfway there. That's right. Volcan Acatenango. We're halfway there. We got a tricky question, so let's get at it, right? My name's McCarthy, and my question is, what is an interest rate? That's a doozy of a question. In order to answer, I'm going to give you a definition, an example, and then we're going to review both fractions and percentages in order to understand what's an interest rate. And then, at the end, I've got a challenge for you, okay? Interest is the cost of borrowing. Or another way to put it is how much a bank charges to use their money. Wait, a bank charges to use their money? Yep. In order to use a loan, a bank charges a percentage of that loan in order to cover the cost of operating a bank as well as potential risk of that loan not being repaid. Let me give you an example. So imagine that Leo has a lemonade stand and just got a hundred dollar loan. Now as Leo agrees to repay that one hundred dollars, he also agrees to repay a small percentage of that loan. Let's say ten percent. And that ten percent is the interest rate or the cost of borrowing the money from the bank. So we made it all the way to the top. Woo! Success! This is volcan or like fire volcano. Pretty awesome, right? So usually we view numbers as whole things. Let's say like a whole pizza. But sometimes we're only given part. That's when we use fractions. A fraction is when we use or we talk about just a part of a number. For example, a football game is a long time. So they put a break in the middle, half time, because they split a full football game in two in half, right? Half time. In the same way, they split a basketball game in four quarters. A hole in four, right? One fourth. And if you were to split a dollar into pennies, how many would you have? A hundred. Good job. Pennies are a great way to learn about percentages because percent means a part of a hundred. So, let's say you had 25 pennies. That's 25 out of a hundred pennies, right? In order to get one full dollar. So 25 out of a hundred, 25 cents or 25%, right? Now let's say that I had taken a test with a hundred points on it and I got 90 questions right. That would be 90 out of a hundred or 90%. Let's go back to the example of Leo and his lemonade stand, right? So he had a loan for a hundred dollars and the bank gave him a 10% interest rate. With a 10% interest rate, what's 10% out of 100? 10%, well that's $10. $10 out of 100 is 10%. Good job. So here's today's challenge. The student who sends me the correct answer first will win a bracelet, all right? I promise I'll get it to you after Easter break. Let's say a bank makes a $5,000 loan and they charge 25%. All right, fifth graders, see if you can get this. What's 25% out of 5,000? Right. Email the answer, and I'll get you that bracelet. I hope that today we were able to learn a little bit about how interest rates work. Keep those questions coming, and we'll keep learning together. Que Dios te bendiga. Hasta luego.